Hello, uh, my name is Billy Clifford. Um, I'm launching a new CD tomorrow in Will at Milltown Malbay for the Willie Clancy Summer School. I'd like to, um, I'm going to play a couple of uh, tunes from that now. It's the, it's the second track, track number two. Uh, there are two polkas called um, Blue Ribbon Number Two, Blue Ribbon Number One. Billy, thanks very much. Billy, with a name like Clifford, there has to be some connection with that with that musical dynasty in, in Schlieve Lucre. What's your connection with, with Dennis Murphy and Julia Clifford? Uh, well, Julia was my mother, actually. And Dennis Murphy would, have been, would, would be my uncle then, my late uncle. Lovely. And I, I remember someone saying about your mother in the shop years back that she was a woman who was very generous with her music. Absolutely, that's right. Yeah. She taught a lot of pupils as well, mind you. And... Um, and on both sides of the, the Irish Sea, like over in England as well as here in Ireland, you know. So it was, yes, and she was uh, always eager to teach everybody and anybody that would come to the house. Yeah, I'm, I think it was Kieran Henron who said yeah. that actually yeah, yeah, yeah. about her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you remember about London of the, of the 60s, the late 50s and 60s? Because that would have been the healthiest days of Irish music. Yeah, that's right. I think uh, coming into the 60s, I think it was when the. the Public house sessions actually got underway. They really started off. Um, I know my mother and father got a job um, playing in a, in, a, in a public house in Camden, a town called the Brighton, and it was run, it was run by a, um, a fellow from County Kerry. His name was Fitzgerald, I believe. It. And uh, it was one of the very first um, pubs in Camden Town to have Irish music going on at that particular time. But that would have been around 1960 or 61 or thereabouts. Right. So it was beginning to start to flourish at the, in those early years of the 60s. So you would have you'd have had experience with people like Bobby Casey uh, and... I would have had, yeah. I would have had, yeah. Right. And Martin Burns, uh, that he Martin followed. Martin Burns, yeah. Um, played several times with Martin. And uh, uh, it was a... Uh, like Raymond Rowland, more with his brother actually, a fellow called Oliver Rowland. All right. Played in a band with him, a lot, you know. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, and uh, even played with Kevin. What was it? Kevin Burke has been a band uh, as well. Once I think I was in the same band as Kevin Burke at one stage. Oh, I see. Brilliant. <laughs> you know, but you know, mixed in with a lot of those musicians, you know. Did, did you realise then that you were involved in 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 an amazing era of Irish music, or Not was really, it? Not really. No, it was just you know, just everybody played for you know the fun, and that was it, you know. As it should be. Yeah, Listen, yeah. Billy, I appreciate you doing this and good luck with the launch tomorrow in Milton Malbay. You're welcome. You're very welcome. So. Thanks very Thanks much. Thanks very much, Lee. Thank you.